Good morning. So really just want to spend some time in classrooms visiting Whitestone Elementary. We have 922 students here at this campus. And one of the things that we are really about is building that we take care of one another, kids, families, community. Um, and then our second piece is that we ensure kids are learning and achieving um, at high levels. And so we added a median innovation position, which is something that no other campus has. And the median innovation teacher meets with our um, curriculum team and grade level teams to talk about how can we enhance what's already happening in their general ed classroom. Hi guys. Dude, what are y'all working on? It's called curling and you have to do it like that. Whoever's closest to the center of the target gets the point that round. Oh, okay. Good job. So what do you think this is teaching you? What do you think you're learning? We're learning about friction. Oh, friction, yes. So what was, um, what was your hope for this lesson? What were you going to to get out of the well, lesson today? Well, definitely the collaboration and the teamwork. But we talked a little bit about friction. Um, because I heard that that was something they maybe struggled with. Mm -hmm. And so we talked about how, you know, the smoothness at the bottom of the curling stone is really going to make an impact, especially because we're going to have to slide from the tabletop to paper. So you're really going to want to make sure that that's nice and smooth. And that helps with deep learning because they learn science and talk about friction, but then they actually put it into practice. Yeah, because it's such an abstract concept yes. and it's hard to put into grasp. 100% of our faculty were trained in how to use collaborative structures in a classroom. Can y'all talk to me a little bit about this map? What is that? So basically we do like Valley Robin structures uh -huh. and you stand up and your team captain goes first. So today a person runs the team captain and she'll ask us questions. Um, and basically you will stand up and show your reasons. It's really important to kind of hear from other people, isn't it? Why do you think that's so important? Well, sometimes you want to hear others' opinion because sometimes you don't always think about your opinions, right? But you want to know if others may want to know, like your opinion mm -hmm. and if you like their opinion too. That's a, that's a great, I would so agree. It's really important to listen to others' opinions, right? The round robin structure gives students an opportunity to practice their listening skills. Mm -hmm. It also gives the students an opportunity to um, share their ideas with their teammates. How much longer do y'all have to work on writing? Um, right now, they're working towards a brain break. Oh. So um, right now, if they hit a 10 minute mark, we're gonna go in the hallway and we're gonna play a Kagan uh, cooperative learning brain break, which oh. is Duck Duck Goose. Okay. Yes. So if we wait around, we'll, we can participate maybe? Oh, absolutely. Yes. You are a goose. You are a duck. You are a goose. Uh-oh. One of the things that we want to talk a little bit about is how do we celebrate being Wildcats, number one. And then number two, how do we give back? We have something called Cool Cat Corner. Who do we think the Wildcat is? Do we know? Stefan? Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> So Tyler, um, last week you actually got to be on Cool Cat Corner for you received Cool Cats, but what did you do for another student? I told uh, the uh, principal about what happened. Landry paid for my food at Monster Donuts. So that was a really sweet gesture for a student to do. And so we like to highlight our kids doing things that are not only in our school, but also out in our community, spreading Wildcat Way in different, different ways. So how are we spreading kindness in our community? What is what is all of this in front of us? <laughs> Yesterday for Valentine's Day, we made blankets for uh, the animal, the homeless animals in the animal shelter. You guys, how did that experience, what did it make you feel, you know, during that time when you were able to do this as a classroom community? So it was pretty cool that we were doing it. <laughs> like, I've never done this before, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Make it a great day, Wildcat.